Do you ever feel that sometimes your photos are a bit static? They're a bit dead and perhaps you'd like to bring them alive? Well, how about giving cutout animation a go? It's a really fun, creative project that can be quite surreal and quite humorous. For this project, you're going to need a camera, a tripod, some editing software, a pair of scissors and some media for yourself to cut out. This might be old photographs that you've taken or it could be stuff from magazines. Um, there's certain things in animation that work well. First of all, cutting out the mouth and giving it a kind of a joint works really well. The other thing is that you can hinge your head and have lots of thoughts coming out. There's certain limitations with 2D animation. For example, if you want something to disappear off into the distance, it's pretty tricky. Or again, if you want it to come forward, then it doesn't really work. Um, also, if you want the character to kind of, kind of turn on its side and disappear off, that doesn't really work either. Once you're happy with all the cutout bits and pieces, sellotape the ones that are going to remain static to a table using either sellotape, double duck on itself, or even blue tack. Put your camera in aperture priority. Use manual focus, make sure the ISO is also uh, set to about 100. This gives you ultimate control. Position the camera above your work. Um, ideally, you'd have the camera directly above it, but this can be a bit tricky to do. Then you simply need to take a frame, move, take another frame, move, take another frame, move, take another frame, and repeat that process. Import your stills into your editing software. I'm using Final Cut Pro 7, but you could use Windows Movie Maker. Select your stills and drag them into the timeline. Just check back to make sure that they're in the right order. When you scroll through the images, you get an idea of how the final animation will, will look. Now export the stills, as this will make editing the animation a lot easier. You won't be dealing with single frames, you'll be dealing with one solid movie clip. Import the animation movie that you've just created. Select the movie and drag it back down onto your timeline. Change the speed of the movie so that the still images appear as a continuous fluid movement. Add some sound effects to give your animation a really professional feel. Now grab some popcorn, sit back and relax. I'm a movie maker. People always ask me where I get my ideas from. But the truth is that we all have hundreds of tiny ideas every day. You just need to capture them. Think of a story which will amaze and engage your viewers. Sometimes it's the little things that people love to see the most. Make your movie, show it to people, and celebrate your success. Follow these steps and you will be a movie maker too. 
I hope you give Cut Out Animation a go and I look forward to seeing what you've made. <laughs>